What is going on, friends? It's Colin, and uh, we uh, had a nice time in Toronto last night at the Painted Lady. It was awesome uh, catching up with Claire Coupland again, and she performed awesome as always. She's an absolute monster songwriter, singer, and uh, she shreds finger picking guitar like nobody's business. So, really impressive set. Brooklyn was awesome as always, and then Liam and I had a great time. Uh, shout out to PA, the sound guy. Um, he he made our, the stage sound was amazing. So that really, uh, when you can hear yourself really well on stage, um, it's it's inspiring, right? And, and you're able to perform to your to your full potential. And we had a great time. Next to me is not Liam though. This is uh, this is Liam's Liam's brother Dan, and uh, he and his partner Cass have put us up the last couple of nights. Uh, which has made our stay in Toronto a whole lot uh, homier, and uh, we've relegated Liam to the back seat. So uh, yeah, we're just heading out to get, um, it's just afternoon now, heading out to get a burger, meeting up with my cousin Brendan, who uh, was out at the show last night, just to catch up and have a few laughs, and then we are off to Aurelia to the Brownstone Cafe, and I've heard cool things about that venue, so I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm going to pay attention to where we're going because we had a nice stretch of road through the trees here in Toronto, which uh, that's not always easy to come by, but uh, this is a nice neighborhood and I need to follow directions. So we'll catch you on the flip side. Have a great day, everyone. What is going on, friends? I know that I skipped uh, putting up a tour vlog last night. Uh, we had our show in Aurelia, Ontario had a, a, like a group of friends that were out to the show and stuff, so it just kind of felt like the kind of time when we just wanted to chill and do the show for ourselves and not worry about fussing with cameras and all that. And it was a great time. And then last night, uh, when we got back, we are staying with a friend by the name of Zachary Lucky, who's also an incredible musician, songwriter, singer, and uh, guitar player. So rather than sit there glued to a laptop editing video, uh, we went out on uh, in his back porch and we were picking tunes on uh, some acoustic guitars and it was it was so much fun. Um, he's got a couple of uh, vintage Martin D18s and I think the one we were playing on was like a 69 and uh, passing around you know my uh, my triple O and uh, anyway it was just it was so much fun. I got some footage of that on my camera or sorry on my phone. So I'll transfer that over and uh, we'll pop some of that up in this video. Uh, we're actually on the way right now to Kitchener. We are playing at the Funky Olive Hair Studio, which sounds like it would be a bit of an offbeat music venue, but I've uh, had a couple of friends that have played there on recent tours and said that it is absolutely unbelievable that we're going to have such a great time there. So um, I'm really looking forward to it. Toronto was like sort of not as well attended as, as we would have liked and uh, Aurelia was a Monday night so it didn't have super high expectations but we had like really warm crowds and yeah so we're looking forward to Kitchener it's actually going to be Liam's last show on the tour uh, we're going to stay I have a couple of days off after tonight to just kind of rest my voice uh, we're staying with uh, my friend Andy who uh performs under the name Black Suit Devil. He's got a really unique voice. I'll probably put links to like Zachary and, uh, and Andy's Spotify's in the description of uh, this video if you're watching it on YouTube. Nice. If you're watching it on Facebook, then uh, be sure to look it up. But those guys are, are musical monsters and, and great people. So um, yeah, we're just gonna relax, get, the, get ourselves to Kitchener. Apparently there's a really great guitar store there that if we have time, we're gonna check that out. And uh, I think it's called Folkway. I think that's what you yep. said. Yeah, Folkway. So, yeah, there should be some cool stuff there for us to to play on. I'll uh, strum some chords and Liam will shred the shit out of some bluegrass and other things, I'm sure. Uh, as soon as you put a Martin Dreadnought guitar in his hands, just the, the, the bluegrass monster that fiddle is Liam, tunes. the fiddle tunes come out. So. <laughs> Anyway, the road's treating us well. We're still uh, we're still hanging in there. We're better than hanging in there. We're having having a good time. I uh, I definitely miss being home. So uh, today was one week since we left, and I find at the end of that first week, that's when uh, start to to get those longings to get back to my my wife and kids. So uh, I don't know if it'd be a good or a bad thing to have some downtime over the next couple of days, but uh, you know we'll have some video calls and. I, uh, 
but I'm looking forward to the shows too. So th this is where touring starts to get a little bit bittersweet for me, to be honest. Um, but anyway, I'm not going to bore you with those sentimental details. Um, I'll just uh, internalize that. And <laughs> but that being said, you know the the show tonight is going to be really good, and uh, the last three of of the run around the Ottawa area, um, I'll be able to give it my all because I have a bit of rest. Last night, it wasn't bad. It was just starting to get to the point where I didn't have as much control as I want over my voice. Um, it probably would have been a better idea to tour with somebody whose company I don't really enjoy so that we uh, didn't talk so much in the car. However, that would have made everything other than the singing part uh, way less enjoyable. So I I've had a lot of fun here touring and, and with Liam and we've met uh, great people, stayed with uh, with friends and family that uh, some that I'd met before, some that I hadn't, but everyone has given us a super warm welcome, including uh, Zachary last night uh, who put us up. So thank you, man, if you're watching this video. Uh, it was an honor to meet you and a pleasure to pick some tunes with you. Um, yeah, I <laughs> I just like did did some finger picking and just picked some chords and repeated them over and over so that uh, so that Zach and Liam could come up with some ideas because they have uh, they have like this vast repertoire of of like old country and bluegrass songs that they both know. So it was awesome seeing them like trade off these solos and stuff. I got a little bit of it on on camera, and the rest of the time I was just sitting back enjoying myself. So. Anyway, they didn't 400 make... 400 meters, turn left onto Ontario 6 South. And there you have it. We're almost on Ontario 6 South. <laughs> uh, anyway, the boys didn't even make me pay cover charge, which is... They did me a solid there. It was a good night. Oh, man. <laughs> I drank too much moonshine. There was a lot of very suspicious <laughs> notes going on in, in that jam. Oh, no. Uh, not, not to my ear, but... Uh, <laughs> Anyway, we're going to sign off for now, guys. I hope you're having a great day, and uh, we'll be talking on the flip side. Cheers. Cheers. What's going on friends, it's Colin and uh, I'm actually here in beautiful Brantford, Ontario and uh, we spent the night at uh, my friend Andy's house who again goes by the name of Black Suit Devil on stage. A link to his Spotify will be down below in the description if you're watching this video on YouTube. Uh, on Facebook they don't like links so uh, check out uh, my YouTube channel and search for Colin Fowley there if you want to uh, find Andy on Spotify. Anyway, uh, we had a, an amazing show last night in Kitchener, Ontario at the Funky Olive Hair Studio. And uh, after they closed down business for the day, they converted into a live music venue and had a super attentive, appreciative crowd. It was uh, uh, just a wonderful night and uh, a great send off for Liam because uh, that was his last gig with, uh, with me on this tour. I have uh, three more to come, uh, maybe four. There might be an extra gig that I'm playing with, uh, with Black Suit Devil on Thursday night. And if that's the case, I will provide the details of that for those of you in the London, Ontario area because that's where it would be. Um, anyway, I'm not going to talk too much on this one. I'm going to put uh, probably our last performance of Passerby 
together. It's kind of been the finale that Liam and I have been playing at the end of our shows. And uh, yeah, it was a good one last night. So I hope you enjoy the video, guys, and there will be more. I might skip tomorrow because I don't have a gig, and I'm just going to focus on doing some, uh, some work. But we'll get back to it on, um, I have a show in, uh, where is it? I forget the name of the place, <laughs> in, uh, in Ontario on Friday night. So I have shows Friday, Saturday, Sunday in the Ottawa area, and then I'm heading off home. So it's been really great. Uh, it's been a pleasure to travel with Liam. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm out of words. I'm going to go get some more coffee into me and uh, talk to you guys soon. Cheers. His, his grand finale, so we couldn't have asked for, for a better audience to send him off. So thank you very much. So 